one, two, three, four, five. Fifty one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, this, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. Well, Cherry, every year it gets harder and harder to shop for you and to celebrate your birthday. Well, I mean, you, wait a minute. It's 70 beers, isn't it? Oh, you know, I don't hear so good, you know. You deafened me. So I thought it was 70 beers. Oh, it's 70 years. Well, my mistake, but you know, I miss you every day, every minute, every hour, and wherever you are, and I will see you pretty soon. So I celebrate your life, it's 70 years. to celebrate his 70th birthday, what do you think he'd be doing? Just having the best time. He'd probably want to be playing music, knowing him. He always played music. Whenever I saw him uh, in a hotel room, wherever, wherever, he always had a guitar in his hand playing. So that's what he would be doing. He liked to play. Playing was his uh, most fun thing he did. What would he be doing? Hopefully he'd be coming down to sit in with us tonight. Exactly. Or maybe he'd be trying to avoid it because everybody else would be making a big deal out of it. Who knows? You know, who knows? But, you know, he'd be Hard glad to, to make 70, I'm sure. Gosh, I mean, is it politically correct to say he'd be partying like me? Uh, All right, good. <laughs> yeah, I think he'd be partying. I mean, that was one of the one of the beauties of Jerry Garcia. I'm sad that he died by excessive partying. Of course, you know that uh, that's tragic. But at the same time, we all die sometime, and I'm sure that he died feeling that he did what he wanted to do with his body and his life. And uh, I think that when you have those thoughts going into death, you can't help but die happy. I think he'd be laughing his ass off, going, I can't believe it's my 70th birthday and all these people care so much. So happy fucking 70th. Wish you were still here. <laughs> Jerry, how did, as the band became more popular, how did that seem to affect him? It's funny, I, Jerry kind of expected all this stuff without really verbalizing it. On one hand, I think he was kind of afraid of it, you know, of a lot of notoriety, because he realized that was gonna, his world was going to change, and it did change. Um, you know, we went through a long period there. When we got together, they were making $50 a week. You know, that sounds absurd today, but that's what they were making. <laughs> and, you know, the rest of it sort of went, anything that they made went into the collective to pay the rent and buy instruments and gas for the, for the one truck. And, you know, it was pretty simple. Everything was on a very small scale. And so when they decided to go do a gig, it was easy. They could just jump in the truck and run down and set up somewhere. And, you know, it took like 20 minutes. What was the relationship like between your father and Jerry? I mean, I kind of know uh, vaguely about them, you know, kind of meeting back kind of, I think, right. around the acid test. Is that, would that have been when they first met? Or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I think so. I, I would say that they were, you know, good intellectual sparring partners. They were friends, and um, they liked, they were both very heady and very funny and had a great time being the center of attention. Right. <laughs> And so, you know, I think they're compatriots in the land of weirdness. He just was a workaholic. He, he had to play all the time, yeah. even in his little apartment, little tiny one-room apartment that we lived in when he wasn't on the road. It was never fancy. He just would sit in his chair with his practice instrument and watch TV, and we'd watch movie after movie uh -huh. after movie <laughs> and talk all the while he's playing scales and all the while he's, you know, in that mode. It's been kind of a competition between me and the Deadheads for a long time. Right. You know, I remember um, at Oakland Coliseum trying to, we used to try and go out and like, not scalping tickets, but try and trade <laughs> tickets for things, and like weed or swag or whatever. I was young, and I was like, and trying to strike a deal with a hippie, and I was like, hey, I'm one of Jerry's kids. And he's like, we're all Jerry's kids. <laughs> I was like, Fuck. 
actually, no, I really mean it. <laughs> no, they didn't even buy it. There right. was no coming back. Right. It was just like, peace out. We're all Jerry's kids. Like, duh. We were at uh, Four Seasons, I believe, in um, Massachusetts when I was about five, and um, somebody pulled the fire alarm, and I was, I was shaken up by it. There wasn't an actual fire. I was, you know, I was being a big sissy about it, and I was scared. So my dad gave me one of his big black T-shirts to right. wear, <laughs> and actually, it's kind of <laughs> weird, but I've like kept that T-shirt under my pillow like ever since, and I like feel like if it's not like tucked in just the right way under my pillow, then I'm gonna have nightmares. And I'm, I'm just, it's a little bit of my superstition, but. <laughs> nice. <That's really> nice. <laughs> Is that really nice? I think it's really, really? cool. <laughs> Wish I had one. Aw, I'll give you one. I probably have a spare. <laughs> yeah. I'll cut mine in half and give you half. <laughs> I'm lucky if I have a pillow. Aw. Usually just using an elbow. <laughs> You're doing great. That's not a, often you have to like, calm the interviewer down. Like, well, you, know. you don't see that a lot no, on Charlie well, Rose. You know, Charlie, the, just take it easy. Yeah, relax, try to breathe. I'm, I'm very yeah. intelligent. Yeah. I googled you. Yeah. I found that out. <laughs> Not that I didn't know who you were. I, but I haven't googled you. You shouldn't. I should have done it before There's the no interview. Need. You, you, There's no you, need. you got it the wrong way. I should have been googling you. Yeah, do your research. What yeah. The hell, <laughs> well, I have done research. Have you? Yeah. What did you yeah. learn? Um, learned a few things. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. That was really interesting. Thanks a ton. We're done now? Yeah. Good to meet you. Very nice to meet you too. Good luck in your career. Thanks I'll, very I'll much. try to follow it hey, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into performing because there's a certain part of my life which is uh, in which that's essential. I mean, I've, I've, I've lived a performer's life in a way, so a certain amount of that is there. I love what I'm doing. <laughs>